Hi, my name is Saad Ibrahim. I'm with Petro Management Group uh, here in Calgary. Uh, I'm the instructor of the class uh, performance evaluation of horizontal wells. Uh, obviously, uh, with the trend in North America to get into the unconventional, uh, we deal mostly, or in most of the cases, with multi-stage frac of horizontal well. But we start the class with introductory information about the various application of horizontal wells, and then we introduce uh, the multi-stage frac. We talk about uh, the different risks in horizontal wells versus vertical wells, such as geological risk, uh, drilling risk, completion risk, and how to deal with it. And then we get into the performance of horizontal wells, how to predict production profile from horizontal wells and also multi-stage fracking how to estimate the drainage area of a horizontal well, or in another word, the spacing between the well, which can affect the capital cost of the field development. So with respect to the well spacing, we use first the simplified analytical tools, and then we get into more advanced tools uh, using software and analytical tools uh, to give you the uh, uh, optimum spacing between the horizontal wells. Then we move into the recent developments in our Western Basin. We talk about the recent activities in various parts of our Western Basin, such as the Horn River, the Duvernay, the Pemina, the Bakken, a variety of different basins. What sort of activities are taking place in specific, the statistical information about the fracking applications, how many stages are commonly used for each formation, the size of the frac, all of this information are presented. And also in that section, we uh, touch base on some of the recent application of enhanced oil recovery uh, with multi-stage frac. So we give some uh, case studies uh, on applying water flooding, say in the Bakken in tight, tight formation. Uh, uh, the next section would be on uh, uh, the well test application for a multi-stage frac, which requires uh, special techniques on how to deal with the well test interpretation with the multi-stage frac. And we give variety of examples uh, from the Montney, the Barkin, uh, different type formation. Uh, we also cover the subject of mini frac or defit, uh, where we extract information uh, from each well uh, that will help improve the frac design itself. So we use uh, the software and we show actual uh, case studies on that. In place and reserves, how to estimate reserves for multi-stage frac, especially for tight formation, that is a real challenge because some of the tools that we've been using for conventional reservoir do not work very well in tight formation. Uh, and the reason why uh, for tight formation with the micro Darcy, for instance, uh, most of the production data or history uh, are in the transient as opposed to pseudo steady state. So the client analysis has to obviously be um, used in, in the right way to come up with the right reserves estimate. The ARPS techniques usually uh, they do work when you are in steady state, but once you are in transient for most of the production life, we have to use some of the advanced the decline curve analysis, uh, such as extended exponential power loss ratio, the Du Young, uh, many uh, new techniques that we have not been using uh, in the past. Now we have to use it for the unconventional uh, formation. Uh, we talked a little bit about coning, why horizontal wells are good for coning control. And uh, the final section is on uh, tips on horizontal well design and selection of candidate well for horizontal well. So we talk, for instance, uh, about uh, the drawdown after the fracking. Uh, uh, what's the limit on drawdown? How hard we uh, can limit ourselves when we flow back the well after the frack so we don't damage the frack itself. Uh, also, how to select intervals that can be fracked a lot easier than others. Uh, so we talk about brittle versus ductile rocks. All of this information are in the very last section. Uh, throughout the class, we show numerous 
uh, case studies, uh, interesting case studies, and also we provide obviously a very uh, useful handouts, colorful, and uh, it could be used as reference in the future. Thanks for listening about this class, and if you need any additional information, please contact us. Thank you.